I love that. I mean, it's like you got to look at where the trends are going. So first, first easy trend is people are buying more smart speakers. The second trend is people are using them more. And the third trend is they're starting mm -hmm. to do more advanced tasks, add to shopping, yeah. like add to shopping list. You know, can you, you know, um, remind me to do X. So the, the more that people get comfortable and they make it part of the routine, we're going to start bridging like our everyday life with the products and companies that we love. Right. So it's like, um, there's a million like use cases that I can, I can think of, but it is an area that I'm particularly also like very excited for mainly because I think it's, I think it's, in, it, it's, it's, it's very challenging. Like it's a very difficult yeah. thing to design without an interface and to think about all the different people with different context. Um, so, yeah, I, I think you're like on that. Yeah. I think you're ahead, ahead of the curve there. I think there's like a lot to be, um, there's a lot more we could probably be doing. So that, that's awesome. Um, great. I mean, I think we kind of, we, we covered most of the stuff um, I wanted to, to hit on. This is like, the basement sounds like an awesome place to be. Your career path is incredibly inspiring. I think for most people that are kind <laughs> of like, not sure of like, you know, what they're doing. Um, I just, I always like to kind of get a, a taste for, you know, when you're not doing design work, what else like inspires you? Like what else are you interested in? Ah, uh, so my second passion in life, well, actually I have a couple of different passions, but my second passion in life is music. Uh, so, uh, early on in high school, I kind of, I kind of did, I, I, I traded both paths, which was, uh, I want to be a musician. I want to be an artist. I kind of went back and forth. And then through college, I was like, I minored in jazz, um, but I majored in design, um, and then I kind of gave up being a musician for a while, and uh, about a decade ago I had an opportunity to start playing again, um, so I joined some cover bands, um, worked my way up, networked uh, through uh, other musicians, um, and uh, so I played the saxophone, uh, I've got a berry, an alto, a tenor, and a Very soprano, cool. you know, you got to collect the whole, whole thing. Um, but I love to play blues, uh, gospel, jazz, big band. Um, nice. A couple of years awesome. ago, I got invited to join this really cool jazz orchestra called Joy Swing. Um, and so um, once a month, we get together and we perform. Uh, we've got to play. Uh, we got invited uh, five different times to go down to the Jazz Kitchen in Indianapolis, which is a really well-known nice. uh, awesome. jazz venue. Uh, and so we play there. Um, I am just, a, I'm a second alto, so I just like, I'm along for the ride, and I'm surrounded by amazing, um, hardcore jazz musicians, and it's just, it's like the coolest experience. It's like, if you know, sit down and watch, think of any musician that you've always like, you know, been impressed by, and, and think about how cool it'd be to sit next to that person on a stool, and you're plucking your guitar, or playing drums, or whatever, and that person's next to you just wailing away, and you're just like, this is so cool. I'm, I'm sitting right next to them. So like every time we play, it's it's the same experience. There's a guy named Scott sits next to me, just amazing jazz musician. That's great. Um, I can't do it. That's my first love is design. Um, but again, second love is music. No, it's third awesome. love. Third love is that's what I wore today. Motorcycles. So I have a triumph. Nice. Um, I like the trifecta: yeah. design, music, yeah. and motorcycles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's awesome though. That's super cool. Um, well, listen, Kevin, this was great. I really, I really enjoyed this conversation. Um, where can people find you? Like if they want to learn more about you or the basement, where should we point people? Oh gosh, I, I guess probably the best thing to do would be go to the basement site, uh, the basement.tv or the basement.com. Um, we can post those as well. And is that the basement uh, that's B S M N T.com, right? Yes. Or dot, dot TV okay. uh, for us. And then um, there's a shortened version as well, but that's probably the best way to get to us. Yeah, I'll um, add it to the show notes. I just wanted to make sure we're sending people sure. to the right place. <laughs> yeah, we've got some wonderful blogs on there as well. Uh, any aspiring designers, you know, please come there and, and check us out. We're always looking for folks. They're hiring. Um, they sound we're... great. The culture's awesome. Two thumbs yeah. up. Get them over there, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's, that's great to hear. Um, there's a ton of designers that follow uh, our podcast that are always looking for new new roles and opportunities. Uh, do you guys is it, you guys are headquartered in Indianapolis? Is that right? Yes, we are. So we're currently um, working through some physical 
places uh, trying to figure out, you know, what, what does the future look like for us as far as, you know, do we all come in? Is it a hybrid workday? Do we commute? Do we stay remote? Yep. Um, so, you know, a lot of people coming through, the, going through the same thing. So our lease of our physical space was up last year and we decided, you know, let's just wait. Let's just see where this goes Smart. and let's, yeah, let's, let's model this, whatever this looks like um, around whatever we think is best for our employees. Yeah, I love that. All right, Kevin, thanks so much. Um, we'll add all, uh, any other links that we forgot um, in the show notes. It was an absolute pleasure having you. Um, if you haven't you. done so, for Design Huddle, for listeners, uh, subscribe. We just surpassed uh, 100K downloads, which was a big milestone for us. And we just launched our YouTube channel, so we're still spinning that up, playing with some different formats and clips. But, um, Kevin, this was great. Thanks so much, and we'll look forward to having you or some of your maybe teammates on in the future. You got it, Ryan. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thanks. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Design Huddle. The opinions expressed are solely our own and do not express the views or opinions of our employer.